Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be working with lines and paths inside Inkscape. We've downloaded a vector file of some plants and flowers from VectEasy and we're going to use this to demonstrate how to recreate some of these shapes using the line and path functions within Inkscape. Now unlike Illustrator, Inkscape doesn't have a dedicated line tool, so instead we're going to use the path tool. I'll go over to the toolbar and select the path tool, then go to our document and click where we want our line to start. Then using the keyboard, I'll hold down the control key to make sure our line is perfectly straight. Then I'll click one more time to end our line and hit return or enter on the keyboard to finalize it. Now that we have our line, we can go back and modify it using the selection tool if we wish to modify its size. Now to control our line's color and thickness, we're going to use the Fill and Stroke panel, and we're going to use the Stroke Paint and Stroke Style tabs. So let's start with Stroke Paint. This will allow us to change the color of our line. I'm on the Color Wheel option here, and I can change the color of our line to red, for example, and you can see that changes on our document. For our example, I'll put it back to black. To change the thickness of our line, we'll need to go to the Stroke Style tab. Inside, you'll see the ability to enter in a custom width of our line. So just for an example, I'll go ahead and enter 5 pixels, and you'll see that line gets thicker. Now for our example, I'll go back to 1 pixel in thickness. Inkscape has the ability to fill the line with a solid color, as you're seeing here, or one of these built-in patterns if you'd like to have your line filled with dots or dashes. As you can see in the example that we've downloaded, some of these lines come to a nice point or a nice curved cap rather than being squared off. Inkscape has that ability built in as well under the cap selection. You can see we've got square, rounded, or even a taller ended square. So for our example, I'll go ahead and put a round cap on our line and deselect it, and you can see the subtle cap that's been added to our line. Now let's see what it's like to create a custom shape using the path tool. In this example, we'll recreate one of these leaves. So I'm going to go back to the path tool in the toolbar, and I'm going to click and create our first point. Then I'm simply going to move the mouse down, and you'll see that Inkscape is drawing a straight line wherever the mouse is placed. Now the way the path tool works is when you click, you'll create an anchor point. But if you click and hold, you'll be able to change the curvature of that point between the two points. So, in this example, we'll go ahead and click here, and I'm going to click and hold, and you can see that as I drag, we're starting to build a curve. I'll go ahead and create a curve that looks, uh, that looks about right there. Now, we'll see the curve completes, and I'll take this all the way down here, click to make an anchor point, come back up, and try to mimic that as close as we can, and pull that point down again. There we go, that looks about right. And then, as I approach our final point here, you'll see that we've turned, that the icon has turned red, and that indicates that we're going to close and complete that path. So I'm going to click on that, but at the same time, I'm going to click and hold, again, to kind of add a curvature. Okay, now you can see that our shape is not perfect, and that's okay because we're going to be able to modify this path very easily. So I'm going to select the Selection tool, and the first thing we're going to do is fill it with a color and get rid of its stroke. So you can see if we go over to the stroke, we've got our panel opened already for our fill and stroke. I'm going to select 0 as our stroke, which will make it have no stroke, and then I'm going to go to the Fill panel, make sure a color is selected, and then I'm on the Color Wheel option. I'm going to go to the green color, and we'll just fill this with a green color here here as our leaf. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer on here so we can get a little more detailed view of our leaf. And I'm going to go over here, and this is the part we're going to work on. So it's very easy to modify a path after we've created that. Using the selection tool, I can just select and scale the path as a whole if we want to. But what we want to do instead is edit the actual anchor points and those curves. So to do that, what we're going to do is use the node tool. And you see when I click on the node tool, those individual anchor points are indicated for us in Inkscape. We can click and we can drag and we can change all of these endpoints. So I'm going to go here. That'll center our top of the leaf a little bit better. And again, I'm just doing this, I'm just eyeballing this. You could perfect this if you wanted to, but this is just for an example. Now you can see this curve doesn't match the curve on the left. So what we'll do is we'll use the curve tool here to modify that path and that curvature and try to get this to look a little bit more like it does on the right side. We're getting very close now. There we go. That looks about right. So now we've got a better looking leaf shape. Now let's say we want to add additional points or remove points from our path. We can do that very easily. We can simply select the node tool, which will again reveal our anchor points, and we can simply select an anchor point, and if we want to remove it, we'll just hit the delete key, and that will remove it completely. 
Now I'm going to undo that to bring our point back so that it creates our leaf again. Now let's say that we want to add additional anchor points to our shape, which maybe will make it look like an insect took a bite out of our leaf. Well, that's easy to do. We'll go back to the node tool and that will indicate our anchor points again. Now to add additional points, we'll simply hover over the edge where we want to add a new point and we'll double click and double clicking will add a new point on our path. I'm going to double click three times and create three new points on our path. Then I'm going to go back to the node tool and select that middle anchor point that we added and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it into the leaf. Then I'm going to use the handles to adjust those curves and kind of make it look like a bite has been taken out of our leaf. Perfect. Now that we've got our leaf like we want it, it's very easy to scale and rotate it and place it on our stem. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.